If we're gonna play games, I'm gonna be out here watching you leave every day. And if you so much as roll one centimeter past a, a limit line, you're getting sighted. My name is Rusty Redican. I'm a police officer for the Los Angeles Police Department. One of the guys sent me a video and he said, hey look, uh, we almost just got taken out on Ohio at Zed Street. And uh, got front and back video and this guy in a, I won't say what kind of car he's got, but this guy, you know, went over the double yellow line and, you know, almost took out a, uh, another pedestrian, went through a red light and, and just a anything you could possibly fathom that would be, you know, a police officer would see that and this guy would get a uh, very large ticket. Uh, he did. And then he came flying in and almost hit the cyclists and they luckily were paying attention. Um, so they gave me this video, they sent it to me. That was in my jurisdiction. And so I had the plate number, I had all the information that I needed, and it turns out he also lived not too far away from there. Uh, this was around rush hour. I mean, he's just flying, trying to get to work, and he probably needed to get a new rooster because he got up late. But uh, so I ran the plate and I went by his place and I knocked on the door of my partner. And uh, after getting the information from these, these cyclists and the video front and rear, so I had pretty much everything this guy had done within, you know, a hundred meters or so. And, uh, and knock on the door and his, his wife answers. And I said, young couple. And I said, I'm looking for, let's just say Joe Smuckatelli. Uh, and she looked at me like, I said, he's okay, ma'am. Just so you know, he's okay, he's not hurt. There's, I just need to speak with him about his driving habits. And she said, oh, please come in. So I walked inside. And then when I get in there, I look and I see bikes hanging on the walls and I'm like, this guy's a cyclist, okay. She said, uh, what, what happened? And so I explained to her what happened. I said, tell you what, ma'am, um, let me just show you the videos. And so I, I pressed play and gave her my phone and she's looking at it and I'm looking at her face. And <laughs> what I was gonna say to him probably paled in comparison to what he was gonna deal with when, when he got home. His, his wife looked like she, if she could have strangled him right then and she pointed over and she goes, we're cyclists. I said, I see that, ma'am as am I, that's why I'm here. Um, I think the conversation your husband and I are gonna have will, will probably do what I need it to do. And so she said, well, he'll call you as soon as he gets home, I promise you. I said, okay, very good. But eight hours later, he, he calls and says, hey, officer, uh, I, I heard there was you know, some issue that maybe you wanted to speak with me about and uh, I'm home. I said, okay, very good, I'll be right there. So anyway, I knock on the door and he answers and I said, Hey, okay, look, uh, you were on Ohio and a veteran about this time this morning. And he kind of looked up like he was questioning, hmm, I don't know if that was me. I said, uh, it was you. I, t I tell you what, before I tell you what we're gonna, what I'd wanted to tell you, let me just show you the video. So I hand him my phone and he's looking at it and I'm watching him look at my phone and the way that he's doing it, he's like, he's like looking like he's trying to pantomime that, ooh, I don't know if that's me. And so I said, look, man, that's you. That's you, that's your car. In about two seconds, you'll see, oh, yep, there's your license plate, because they zoomed in on the plate. And he goes, I go, look, I'm not here to write you a ticket. I'm not here to arrest you. I'm here to have a conversation with you and educate you a little bit, or maybe remind you, because I'm looking at your wall and your wife indicated, as I can see, that you too are a cyclist. So you should know better, if anything. I said, now, the way you were driving, you, that car would go on a flatbed and you would be walking to work, number one. Number two, a guy like you who's a good person, and I use this a lot when I, I don't write a lot of tickets, instead I try to use the, the guilt angle if it's somebody that's you know willing to receive the information I'm giving them. I said, a guy like you is a nice guy, he's just trying to provide for his family, you're on your way to work. If you were to strike these, these cyclists, not just because you're a cyclist, but because you're a good person, you'd be absolutely mortified and your life would spiral downhill at breakneck speed if you did that. And he kind of looked down, he went, you're absolutely right. I said, yeah. I said, so look, man, it's not worth it. It's not worth it for you to do what you did, drive the way that you did, and then you might have struck these guys. And he goes, oh, God, I'm so sorry. Can, I, can, I, can you give me their number so I can call them and apologize? I said, I'll do it for you. And he was genuine, I could see it in his face. But anyway, at the end of the day, he, he apologized and, and and legitimately, I mean, he was heartfelt. And I tell that story because it's, I, I tell my fellow cyclists, our fellow cyclists, I say, look, 
If it's a misdemeanor or a felony, okay, that's different. I can, I can do some things. If it's just an infraction, I really don't have legal cause yet or justification to be able to write him a citation. Uh, we just haven't caught up with the technology nowadays. But that's one story, but I've got dozens of fellow cyclists. I mean, if somebody calls me and they give me a, and there's no, I'll go talk to the person if I can, if it's egregious, and I've done so. But if it's something where, you know, he kind of buzzed by me, because I've had a couple of guys call me with some stuff that I'm like, look, man, I, I, I sympathize with you. It happened to me this morning four times, <laughs> you know, but I can't, I can't write down and, and go to everybody's house that, that you know, almost runs me, not runs me off the road, but you know, buzzes by me in the morning.